10 ways to fix verification failed. There was an error connecting to the Apple ID server. Make sure Apple servers are up and running. Go to apple.com slash support slash system status. Locate the servers you need. For example, if you're trying to log into iCloud and see the error message, check if the iCloud servers are available. Reset date and time settings. To reset the date and time settings on Mac, in the menu bar, click on the Apple logo, and go to System Preferences, then click on Date and Time. In the Date and Time settings, click on the lock at the bottom left corner and enter your Mac's password. Check the box next to set date and time automatically. To reset the date and time settings on iOS, go to Device Settings. Then go to General Settings, scroll down and tap on Date and Time. Enable 24-hour time and toggle set automatically. Check your internet connection and reboot the router. To run a network speed test, go to an internet speed test website like speedtest.net. Click on go to start the test. Wait for the website to calculate your internet speed. If your internet speed is lower than the one you agreed on with your internet service provider, contact it to solve the issue. If the problem remains, connect to a different Wi-Fi network, personal hotspot, if using Mac, or disable your Wi-Fi and use your cellular data. Then check if you're able to connect to Apple servers. You can also try resetting your router. To do that, just turn it off. Wait for 10 seconds and turn it back on. Remove all network connections and add a new one. To remove and add network on Mac, in the menu bar, click on the Apple logo to open the Apple menu. Go to System Preferences, then click on Network, Choose every saved network one by one and click on the minus button at the bottom to remove them. When you've removed all of them, connect to your internet again. To remove and add network on iOS, go to device settings. Tap on Wi-Fi. Under my networks, next to each network, tap on the information button. Then tap on forget this network. After you did that with all the saved networks, connect to your internet again. Make sure the internet isn't paused on your device. If you pause internet access to your device and forget to unpause it, you'll be getting the error. Check if your device is unpaused and try to log in again. Disable your VPN. If you have VPN enabled, turn it off and connect to iCloud, App Store, or another Apple service you are trying to connect. Reset all settings in iOS. Go to Settings. Tap on General. Scroll down to the bottom and tap on Reset, then tap on Reset All Settings, and enter your device passcode. Tap on Reset All Settings again to confirm the action. Change your Apple ID password. Go to appleid.apple.com. Under Manage your Apple account, enter your Apple ID credentials, or click on Continue with Password. In the security section under password, click on change password. In the pop-up window enter your old and new password. Then click on change password and exit your account. Get an Apple ID verification code. To get a verification code using iOS for Mac, go to settings and tap on your Apple ID. Go to password and security. Tap on get verification code. Then go to your Mac and enter the verification code. To get a verification code using Mac for iOS, Click on the Apple logo to access the Apple menu. Go to System Preferences. Click on Apple ID and go to the Password and Security section. Click on Get Verification Code, then go to your iOS device and enter the verification code. Update and restart your device. To update your Mac, click on the Apple logo to access the Apple menu. Go to System Preferences. Click on Software Updates and wait for your Mac to search for updates. Update if possible. To update your iPhone, go to iPhone settings, go to general, tap on software update, wait while your iPhone searches for updates. Update if found any. Restart your Mac or iPhone if an update is not possible at the moment. Thank you for watching.